Hey what's up guys this is Nair Sheikh from blogtoot.com and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a social networking website like Facebook. So let's see the demo website which we'll be creating in this video. So as you can see this is the home page whenever user goes to your website logins to your website this is the page they will be seeing. The page requires a sign in or a register until and unless the user signs in or registers with this website. He cannot view anything in this page and obviously it's up to you if you want you can you know enable him to view some pages or some post or some members without signing in or registering to your website but the default setting is that you the user the visitor cannot visit anything or cannot see any post any member until and unless he signs in or registers with the website. So let's see how it happens. Suppose I'm not signed in and I want to you know see some post over here. So let's click on this post and see what happens. Okay guys, so as you can see when I click on this post the post doesn't come up. In fact again the login page comes up. So uh, until and unless I log in to this website or register to this website I won't be able to see anything. So let's log in uh, because I have already created an account so I won't register I'll just log in uh, my username and password is already there so just click on login okay guys so this is the actual website which we'll be creating as you can see this is really beautiful at the top you have a search bar so that you can search for groups or members or you know some post or something and at the top we have at the home page we have some users uh, there are new users or popular users you can have a short description about this website about this community which you will be creating then at the top besides the search bar we have some menus activities activities when you click on activity you will see all the activities done by your friends for example whenever they upload a video or a image or anything then that will show over here then in groups uh, when you click on groups you can uh, see different groups which are created by you or your friends and you can also create a group by clicking over here then we have members uh, when we click on members we see all the members uh, that have created account with this page and then we also have a forums page and at the top right as you can see we have different beautiful logos just like Facebook where you can see notifications personal messages and when you hover with this we can get all these options friends messages groups forums sign out settings we can change the email prof profile visibility everything from here now let's scroll down and see what all we have so we can also have a featured member uh, on the dashboard we can create uh, upcoming events we can create groups and we can also set some group as featured group then we can also post something so that all the users can view those posts we can also create polls for example i have created a poll as you can see over here which says how is my website and you can give some options good excellent bad can be improved no comments you can vote and after you vote you can also see the results then we have the staff widget where you can see the newest the active and the popular um, members of this website at the bottom we have uh, uh, the footer where you can you know add some about us uh, text some recent member widget who's online and at the here and here as you can see we have a chat option you can chat anything with your friends for example when i type hey and press enter as you can see now anyone who is online can chat with me i can also use emojis for example like this so it is really beautiful as you can see and at the at the left side bar you have your own dashboard you can customize this dashboard whatever option you want over here now let's see how a single user page looks like for example let's create let's select my profile only as you can see this looks beautiful at the top over here you have your profile picture then a cover image then different options profile friends at present i have one friend so as you can see it says one i have created one group so it says one no forums you can also upload documents media file for example i have posted a you know a photo and image uh, in a group which says nayer posted an update in the group and uh, uh, the you can also see the image of the group the logo of the group and the name of the group 3 days ago okay i can delete this anyone can favorite this 
so you also have this option okay and I can customize my profile page or your user can customize their profile page according to their need according to their wish okay so this is how a profile page looks like and let's see how a group looks like so let's click on group as you can see at present we have one group BFF so let's open this group okay guys so as you can see it says we can you know, write something in a group we can post everything in the group we can also add some media let's add some media as you can see you have the text then the image also you can also upload you know mp3 videos anything you want you can change this you know, cover image you can change the profile image according to your need you can create projects you can you know um, send invites to friends send uh, you know send invitations to friends to join your group so there are tons and tons of features uh, in this uh, in this theme in this uh, website which will be okay guys so i'll teach you everything how to create members how to create groups how to create uh, you know how to allow members uh, to do something or to restrict them from doing something how um, uh, how to create events polls everything okay guys, so i hope you like the demo website and you are as much interested as i am to begin so let's get started Oh yes, so to create any kind of website, whether it be a social networking website, whether it be an e-commerce website, whether it be a blog or a business website, whatever it is, you need two basic things, a domain name and a hosting plan. A domain name is nothing but your website's name. For example, my domain name is blogdude.com. So your domain name will be yourwebsite.com or .in.org, whatever it is. And the second thing is the hosting plan. Uh, so we have to buy or uh, purchase hosting from uh, some, there are many companies available in the market. Uh, I basically prefer the HostGator because I have been with this company for around five years and I've had an excellent experience with this company. So I prefer this company. You can you know choose any company. There's no compulsion that you have to choose this company. I personally prefer HostGator and I would also recommend you guys to go with HostGator.com. You will see a link in the video description below. Just click on that link and you will be redirected to this page. HostGator uh, hosting plans. We are hosting that three different plans. Hashling plan, baby plan, business plan. In Hashling plan, you get only one domain, a single domain. It means you can only register one single domain with the hosting plan and in the future suppose you want to register or create another website then again you will have to buy a plan so that is not recommended by me uh, whereas in baby plan you can uh, you know register unlimited domains with the same one single hosting plan so this is really awesome and you also get a 40 percent discount sometimes a 60 percent discount make sure you'll get this discount only when you click the link in the video description below okay so once you selected this once you come on this page click on sign up now sign up for the baby plan okay guys so this is the checkout page we have to enter your domain of your choice anything it could be for example i'm choosing blogdude.com it says uh, this domain is not available because i already own this domain so i'll click on i already own this domain okay now in the package type make sure you have selected baby plan billing cycle can be anything of your choice 36 months 24 months 12 months 6 months i prefer the 12 month because that is really easy to remember and you get a 12 month cycle so it is quite comfortable for me you can choose any username okay choose a security pin security pin must be four to eight digits and may only contain number so it can be anything now fill in all your details your email address first name last name company name address phone number zip code and also fill in your credit card or your debit card details uh, the details of the card from which you want to make the payment you can also make payment from paypal so it's all up to you and make sure when you put in the email address you have access to that email address and that email is active because on this particular email, you will be getting really important information like your password, your username, uh, your 
control panel link and all those information which are really really important you will be getting on this particular email now let's scroll down uh, you see add additional services we don't want to add any additional services so untick all this option make sure nothing is ticked over here then we have the fifth step a very important step enter a coupon code so in the coupon code type in webdude45 and click on validate so once you click on validate you should see this green tick mark over here and once you are done with all the steps just tick mark over here i have read and agree to the terms and conditions make sure the coupon code is correct it's webdude45 w e double b d u d e 45 you'll also see this coupon code in the video uh, description below so make sure you put this coupon code to get to get you know greater discount once you are done with all these things just click on checkout now oh yeah so once you click on checkout now you'll receive uh, an email from host creator open this email in this email you'll see all the important information like your shared plan your control panel link username domain password your name servers your server ip so make sure you write all this information uh, and keep it at some really important place and because this email is really important make sure you save all the information somewhere which can be accessed by you in the future so first thing what we have to do is click on your control panel link let's open this link in a new tab now copy your username and password and paste it over here and click on sign in okay guys so this is your cpanel host gate of cpanel and you'll see all the important things over here this is actually the back end the control panel of your website so there are tons and tons of options over here but we are dealing with this one wordpress installer because we want to install wordpress on our website so click on wordpress installer okay guys so once you click on wordpress installer you will be redirected to this page from here you have to select your domain on which you want to install the wordpress so click over here and select your domain and make sure the directory thing is empty don't put anything over here and click on next now put in your blog title admin user first name last name email address and after that tick mark over your terms of services agreement and click on install now so wordpress is getting installed on your domain name on your website now it says installation complete and you get your username and password from here now click on this link open this link in a new tab okay guys so it gives a 404 error which says page not found and don't worry because this is a very common thing uh, and basically it means that your wordpress has not yet been installed on your uh, on your domain name so it takes around few minutes two to three minutes sometimes five minutes so keep on refreshing your website until you see uh, your website running so until i'm getting this error i'll pause this video and when everything is fine i'll continue from there Okay, guys, so as you can see now the wordpress has been installed on our domain name now what we have to do is after your domain name cancel all this thing and put in wp-admin and press enter now put in your username and copy your password from here and paste it over here now click on login okay guys, so after we log in to our wordpress website will see something like this and now let's see how our page looks like or how our website looks like so come over here and you'll see this visit site so open this link in a new tab oh yes so this is our website this is how it looks like now and obviously we don't want this kind of crap for our website we want something awesome like this we want to create a social networking website not a crap so to create a website a beautiful website like this i have selected the thrive intranet and community wordpress theme you will see a link of this theme in the video description below make sure you click on that link you will be redirected to this particular page okay so as you can see this theme cost around 67 dollars but i think this theme is free why because for with this theme you get visual composer slider revolution and so many premium plugins 
which if you go in the open market to buy those plugins it will cost you around hundred dollars so you're getting more than hundred dollars plugin for uh, free with this particular theme so just don't hesitate to buy this theme this is awesome theme this is the number one self-hosted intranet solution for wordpress so just don't worry and make sure you buy this theme uh, i have already bought this theme so i won't be purchasing this but you have to purchase this theme to get started to continue to create a website like this so i'm assuming you have purchased this theme so cancel this thing now what we have to do is install the thrive theme on our website so for that come back to your dashboard hover appearances and click on themes okay guys so this is our theme folder our theme file what we have to do is extract this folder or extract this file so right click over here and click on extract files click on ok now as you can see we have the extracted uh, file over here why we have extracted because we don't have to upload this thing because it has many you know different things which you don't need to upload here you will see when you open that folder wordpress theme click on here and here you see thrive so what we have to do is now compress this thing uh, into a zip file so what we have to do is click on this folder thrive folder and select the add to archive select the zip file from here and click on ok so this file has got archived now now what we have to do is upload this file okay so come back to your page your themes page and at the top as you can see there is an upload button click on that okay now it says add theme upload theme so click on upload theme and now we have to choose the file so click on choose file and choose the file which we have just archived so this is the file now click on open now click on install now at the bottom left you will see the progress it says 26 percent is getting installed so by the time your theme is getting installed make sure you subscribe to my channel it just takes a single second to click on that subscribe button and also make sure you like this video because this video is very helpful you'll be creating a super amazing super awesome you know social networking website which if you go in it to some professional to you know make some this kind of website he'll charge you thousands of dollars literally thousands of dollars so make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like this video so it says installing the plugin theme installed successfully now click on activate okay so our thrive theme has been successfully activated and now again let's refresh the uh, page our website and see how our website looks like now okay so it is looking much better but still this is not the website which we'll be creating we want to create something like this so again come back to your dashboard and it says this theme recommends the following plugins begin installing plugins so we want to install all these plugins so click on begin installing plugins now tick mark over here when you tick mark over here all the themes all the plugins will get uh, selected automatically and from the bulk action select install now and click on apply now all our plugins are getting installed so wait for a few seconds okay so all our plugins have been installed now click on return to required plugin installer now we have to activate all the plugins so again click over here it will select all the plugins and from the bulk action select activate and click on apply so instead of installing and activating single plugin we are installing and activating uh, all the plugins at one single time okay guys so once you have installed and activated all the plugins come back to your dashboard and now at the left sidebar you'll see something called tools it's over here it's tools however tools and select import now at the bottom you'll see wordpress so click on install now now click on run importer now click on choose file and as you can see uh, come back to the 
okay so this was the folder which we when we extracted this file we got this folder so open that folder and in the resources you in default folder you will see something called demo dash import so select that file and click on open now click on upload file and import okay now from here you don't have to do anything right now just set a tick mark over here download and import file attachments and click on submit okay guys so after it's done just click on have fun now again at the left side bar you will see something called settings now click on settings and click on general now from here you can change the tagline uh, our site title is social network site uh, you can change the tagline to anything at present it's just another wordpress site this is the default tagline by wordpress you can change it according to your wish you can for example let's put it like uh, facebook okay you can change all this stuff over here but we don't want to change anything right now only the tagline needs to be changed at present now again click on save changes now after that uh, click on reading from the left sidebar and instead of your latest post what you have to do select a static page and from the front page select dashboard select dashboard it's over here and from post pages select news post yeah sorry news blog okay this dashboard and news blog because we have imported the xml file so these pages have already been created for us now we'll see this thing later login page we'll see this later for now click on save changes now after your save changes uh, at the left side bar you'll see appearances hover appearances and select menus and when you select menu you will see something called manage locations click on manage locations now for uh, you'll see three options primary menu secondary menu top right bar from for primary menu select the header menu and for secondary menu select this side nav and click on save changes okay so again after you're done that again come here uh, to the plugins hover plugins and click on add new and in the search bar type in widget importer and exporter and select this plugin by churchtheme.com and click on install now now click on activate okay so once activated now hover tools and select widget importer and exporter now uh, choose file from the import widget and as you remember we have uh, imported the demo import now what we have to do is select this file widgets.wie click on open and now click on import widgets okay now you'll see this page uh, for uh, it says uh, almost all the widgets are imported except few okay and two widgets already exist now what we have to do to remove this error come back to your dashboard open your dashboard in a new tab and from the left side bar uh, under settings select body press now what we have to do is tick mark all these things friend connection private messaging user groups site tracking okay so once you have saved all the settings what we have to do is add a chat plugin because we want to have this chat option in our website so for that we have to add a chat plugin so come back to your dashboard hover plugins and click on add new and in the search option type in voice chat and select this one and click on install now now click on activate so once you have activated the plugin come back over here at the left side bar under settings now select voice chat setting now from here tick mark this thing disable anonymous users so what this does is until and unless the user is logged in or registered he cannot chat so this is very important to protect our users and our website so tick mark this disable anonymous users and click on save changes and after that under appearances from instead of default select the cold dark and again click on save changes rest everything will be fine now come back to our website 
refresh the website and let's see the changes okay guys now as you can see there is a chat box over here now we can chat with all the users or the user can chat with different users and use emojis and various things so this is really good for our website now after doing that again come back to your dashboard and from the left sidebar under settings select permalinks and instead of custom structure we have to select post name uh, this is the most SEO friendly structure so after you select post name click on save changes and after that again under settings we have to select buddy press now last time we tick mark all these things now we have to do something with the pages so from top over here click on pages and as you can see everything is uh, you know members we have already a member page so you can view this page in a new tab so this is our member page at present i am the only member so it is showing only one member so we have already created activity page all these pages are uh, automatically created because we installed the xml file if you remember it in the beginning so this is the activity at present there is no activity and this is the groups page we won't see any group because we haven't created any it says there are no groups found so because we have not created any group now you can also have a buddy drive page so uh, click over here and select drive and click on save changes and for registration it says registration is currently disabled because uh, we have disabled registration uh, for now now we have to enable it because until and unless we enable the registration no one will be allowed to, or no one will be able to register to our website which is really bad so for that it says check on this box on this page so select this page and open this page in a new tab now from here it says membership and anyone can register so tick mark anyone can register and click on save changes now cut this thing and again refresh the page now we should see the changes okay so it doesn't show the error again now when we uh, enable the registration we get two pages register page and activate page register page is the page where the user can register for the website and activate page is the page where user will be redirected after registering the website so let's see these two pages also we are not able to see the registration page because we are already logged in so it doesn't make any sense key when you are already logged in you are registering yourself for the website so basically we have done with all these things now click on save changes now what we have to do is install a very important plugin for the website which is RT Media. So again come back to your dashboard, hover plugins and click on add new. Now in this search plugin type in RT Media. And this is the plugin we want by RT Cam. Click on install now. Now click on activate. Okay guys so once you have installed and activated the RT Media plugin at the left sidebar you'll see a new icon a new menu calling RT Media so click on RT Media now from here uh, in the display option we'll see allow users to comment on uploaded media we want to keep it on because we want our users so to give them you know the freedom to comment on uploaded media use lightbox it should be on enable imaginary it's all up to you i'm not uh, uh, keeping it on enable direct upload keep it on and click on save changes now we have buddy press option click on this enable media in profile on enable media in group okay on allow upload from activity stream on okay enable media notification it should be on create activity for media likes yes on create activity for media comments on what basically this means is whenever anybody uploads a media we should get a notification uh, and that um, and that notification or that activity should be posted in the activities page so with, that is really important so that we can know that another user another friend of ours have uploaded some media so we will come to know in the plugins page so Make sure all these things uh, in the buddy press option are on. After that, click on save changes. Okay, now in the types, 
everything is fine in the media sizes we can change this thing later on in privacy enable privacy okay and make sure it is set to public visible to the world and also allow users to set privacy for their content it means whenever user uploads anything or updated says status then he should have the freedom uh, to set the privacy for example he said he can set the privacy to everyone so everyone can see that image or he can set the privacy uh, privacy to only his friends so that only his friends can see the image or the activity he is doing so this is very important once you uh, do all the settings click on save changes guys so after done that we have to do uh, some other work we have to create login page so for that we have to come to our dashboard and from settings scroll down from left sidebar select settings and from reading select on reading click on reading scroll down as i said you earlier i uh, will see this login page later so from this login page select login okay we don't have a login option because we have to create a new page so let this page be open scroll up and you'll see pages how our pages and add new open this add new in a new tab we have to create a new page a login page so in the title put in login and just click on publish so our page has been created now cancel this thing again come back to this page refresh the page now come back uh, scroll down in the login page click on select page and now we should have okay now we have a login option so select this page logins page and click on save changes okay when we click on save changes what we have done is for example let's come back to our demo page anything uh, the user who is not logged in or registered with the website whenever he clicks on any post any member i am at present logged in but the user or the visitor who is not logged in or registered he won't be see he won't be able to see anything or any page uh, whenever he clicks whenever he clicks on page or mem uh, page or member he will be redirected to the login page again and again so let me show you how that works and let me open the the website which we are creating at present in a different browser and we'll see how it works okay guys so as you can see when i open my website in different browser it says website coming soon although when we see in our browser it's it gives us a very beautiful look this is because we have not you know launch our website here it is your site is currently displaying a coming soon page once you're ready to launch click here so just click here so that we can see the changes now once we click there again come back to the, the different browser and refresh the page okay so now we have successfully launched our website now anyone anyone can use or see the website so as you can see uh, this is the page where anyone visiting the website for the first time uh, will be redirected and now i am not logged in so whenever i click on any post for example let me see this post as you can see it has redirected me again to the login page so this is what the logging page does and suppose you want to you know allow the visitors to see some pages uh, some different kind of pages to allow them to access some pages without logging or registering to the website so let me show you how to do that so come up and hover over pages and open this pages menu in a new tab and let this page be open in a different tab okay suppose you want uh, the users to see the groups page so that they can see the groups page without even logging or registering the website so what you do is click on edit uh, edit the groups page and at the top as you can see over here uh, after post is equal to you will see a number so click on uh, select this number copy it come back to this page and paste it over here so now what will happen is after you click on save changes the user will be able to see the groups page without even logging or registering to your website so you can do this also but i don't want to do this so i'm just cancelling this and saving pages it was just to show you uh, what you can do with this how you can allow access to different pages to your visitors without 
you know without even them creating a account with your website okay now let's again refresh the website and see our progress okay, so as you can see we have refreshed the page and now let's create an account from different uh, from different um, browser now let's create register so as you can see this is the registration page it uh, asks you username email address password and profile it only asks you the name so we can add some different uh, options also for example we, we want our users to give them their date of birth also for, for registering for to our website so what we have to do is come back to our dashboard and at the left sidebar you'll see something called users okay so click on users and here you'll see something called profile fields so click on profile fields and here you see name primary required so a name is already created now we can add some other field also so what we do is click on add new field and in the name option you can type date of birth and in the description you can type anything for example I'm typing please provide your date of birth and in the type instead of text we want date selector so that they can select the date and you can change the format range anything you want okay now requirement whether you want to make this field required a compulsory field or not required let's make it compulsory field and default visibility first of all here it says allow members to override and make sure it is tick mark and visibility should be everyone okay now click on save now again come back to the different browser and now let's refresh the page and save the changes Okay well guys, as you can see now we also get a date of birth page. Now if the user want to register to our website, they also have to provide their date of birth. So it is all up to you. Now let's create a account with this website. Okay guys, so as you can see I have filled this form. Username, email address, password, name, date of birth. So once we do all these things, scroll down and click on sign up, complete sign up. Okay, now let's see what it says. It says you have successfully created your account. To begin using this site, you will need to activate your account via the email we have sent to your address. So this is an amazing feature of this website because no one can just spam your website, just create any kind of email or just you now give any random email address and create an account uh, with your uh, website. So the user, if they want to create an account with your um, website, they will have to provide a genuine email address which they own. So this is a very important feature. Now let's activate the account from our email address. So as you can see, uh, a message from social network site. Let's activate our account. To complete the activation of your account, go to the following link. So click on this link. Actually, we have to open this link from that browser. So click on this link. Your account is now active. So this was a really important feature. Now we can log in again, putting your username and password and by clicking on login. Okay guys, so we have successfully created our account. This is the uh, Gravatar. Now what we can do is we can send friend request. Uh, we can create groups. Now let me show you how to do everything. For example, let me uh, send a request to this account. Okay. When I open this, I can see his profile page. Now what I can do is send him a friend request. So when I click this, friend request has been sent and now I can also cancel the friend request I can public message him okay so click on public message and as you can see we are getting also a mentions option when you type in at the rate of and type in the username uh, any username then you will be sending a public message to them for example let's type hey and post update 
okay so we have sent a public message we can also send a private message to any user just click on private message we can also add the subject obviously now click on send message okay guys, so as you can see it says message successfully sent now let's open our different account uh, and see what has happened to that okay now let's refresh the website from this account and as you can see now we are getting few notifications and when we click on messages as you can see we have we are getting a message from this account and it rolls when we click on notification it says Nayar Sheikh sent you a new private message Naya Sheikh mentioned you you have a friend request from Naya Sheikh so let's click on this and accept the friend request so when we click we get two options accept or reject so now let's accept the request so as you can see that guys this is this was so important a very important feature now let's try creating a group so what we do is click on groups and as you can see we are not getting a groups option to create a group option so now we have to add that so again come back to your dashboard and now we have to you know see the menus so under appearances click on menus and this was the menu now what we have to do is create a new menu so click here create a new menu and menu name you can name it anything you want I'm naming it main and click on create menu and select all the pages you want for example members page activities page uh, groups page and any other page you want so for now we want all these pages and click on add new add to menu and click on add to menu so as you can see uh, the menu has been added we want our activity page at the top members page at the bottom and groups page should be in the middle okay so we want uh, we also want another page which is create groups page which should come under groups page so for that again come back to your website and now click on custom links and in the url paste in the url starting your website's name thrive theme dot blog dot com slash groups slash create okay slash step slash group details i have given this link in the video description below make sure you see that link and in the link text type in create now click to add to menu now drag this create uh, under groups because we uh, by clicking this we will be creating a new group now click on save menu okay now let's come back to your website and refresh the page and see the changes okay we are not seeing the changes because we have not you know made this uh, made this menu as a primary menu so what you do is tick this primary menu now again click on save menu now again come back to our web page and refresh the website as you can see now we can see the changes activity groups members when we have our groups we we are getting a new option create so click on create as you can see now we are getting the option to create a group now let's name this group anything like name any description you want now create click on create group and continue okay now it's all up to you you uh, to set the privacy option what you want to make this group public group private group hidden group and group invitations all members can send the group invitation only admin and mods can send the group invitation so it's all up to you so i select next step now we have the forums option click on yes i want this group to have a forum now click on next step docs okay who can create documents so you can change this thing uh, i am keeping it to group member anyone of the group member can create a document in this group so again click on next step photo you can upload a group photo so let's select some photo from our, for our group let's select this image and click on open now from here we can crop the image 
okay once you are done cropping click on crop image the group profile photo was uploaded successfully and now we can see the profile pic of the group has been changed now click on next step now we are getting a uh, media option who all can you know add media to the group so i am setting this to all group members and click on next step now we are invite options so i have, because i have only one friend at present so i am getting only one option if you have more friends you'll get more options to invite them so i can invite myself uh, the different account obviously so when i take this and click on finish i'll get an invitation from this account okay and we have successfully created a group we can change the cover image the profile pic anything from here so for that what we have to do is click on manage And as you can see, we can change the detail, photo, everything we want. Uh, we can change anything. When you click on photos, you know, upload an image uh, for a profile picture for this group. The image will be shown to the main page. So we can upload any page or any image for the profile pic. We can up, uh, change the you know, cover page by clicking over here, cover photo. and choosing any file for example let's choose this file click on open click on upload image so as you can see the image has been changed so this is how we change the group photo we can create documents send invites add media you know we can do anything uh, in this group so we have successfully created the group i have successfully shown you how to register for the website how to send friend request now what is left is let's see come to our dashboard come to our main page and see so as you can see uh, in the main page we are getting only two members so the, it shows only two members we'll see this kind of uh, image when we have more members at present we have only two members so it is showing only two members we can change the featured member okay we are now we can create events it says upcoming events now let's create few events now for that come back to your dashboard and at the left side you will see something called events let's find that here it is now from there click on add new now we have to add some new events so for example in our demo website this is how an event looks like uh, we have the title uh, the registration fee for the event the date you know from Feb 19 2006 to March 18 to 2025 a description details start date end date cost event category event tags website you know all these details we have the venue uh, where it is okay so let's create a new event copy this for the title instead of typing everything paste it over here copy the description just to save the time we are just copying and pasting everything over here we can choose any category we can create new event category okay let's choose any category we can set a start date and time so for example 4 Jan 2017 and we can set uh, end time let's set it to 2025 20, 4th Feb 2025 we can set a venue you can name the venue put in the address city country postal code phone number website you can provide organizers name uh, their phone number their website event website if you, the event has any website currency symbol okay before or after so you can put in any symbol for example from your keyboard uh, you can put in a dollar sign and put in any cost for example twenty dollars okay you can also add a featured image featured this is a featured image this is the featured image will be shown over here so let's add a featured image in the media library we don't have any image so what we do is upload image click on select file and uh, let's add this image select this click on open 
now click on set featured image okay now click on publish so once we publish again come back to our website at present as you can see before refreshing the website we don't have any events now after we refresh the website now we have uh, an event we can view this event okay so as you can see this is the event we have all the details the price date everything okay now again let's come back to our main home page and see what is left now so we have seen the event uh, because now we can I'll show you how to set this featured member featured group or if you want to remove this thing featured member featured group or even if you want to remove this events widget from the main home page you can do that I'll show you how to do that in a moment now let's see what is left okay poll let's create a poll again come back to your dashboard scroll down to the bottom you'll see something called polls click on add poll okay you can post in any question for example let's copy this question how is my website paste it over here you can you know provide uh, answer one for example yes answer two no it doesn't make any sense how is my website yes or no <laughs> but just for the sake of showing you you can add more answers by clicking over here you can allow users to select more than one answer but we don't want to do that you can you know put a expiry date to this poll okay when we untick this we can put a expiry date to this poll now let's click on add poll and again come back to our website and refresh this thing we don't see any changes because we have we haven't done any changes over here now let me show you how to change everything means how to change this featured member how to change this uh, upcoming event for example you uh, instead of upcoming event you want to add something different over here okay guys now i'll show you how to change all these widgets different widgets so for that come back to your dashboard and hover appearances and select widgets let's open this widgets in a new tab in the dashboard here is our dashboard when you expand this as you can see featured member so if when you put in the username of that member you'll see that username over here in the featured member at present it is Dan so let's change this to Nayar and click on save now after we refresh we'll see a different image a different featured member over here okay now we have upcoming events you can show one two three any amount of events of your choice okay then we have featured group at present it is set to pulp fiction because we don't have any pulp fiction group we are seeing an error over here it says i can't seem to find a group with that name please check your group name input so now delete that name and put in our own name the name of the group we have just created so i'm putting that now click on save okay after that this thing will be changed now we have recent post so for that come back to the widgets page okay now we are getting the polls option okay display poll archive how is my site you can change mm, i we, we have created another poll over here so what we can do is select that poll uh, even that poll is uh, question how is my site but the options are different as you can see here the options are different and in our poll the option is yes or no so we are selecting that one and click on save now members this is the member uh, the title is staff as you can see the title is staff we can change the title title to anything we want let's put it members now we can maxim uh, change the number of members to show now let's click on save now it's uh, we have the recent post option we can you know increase the number of posts to show decrease the number of posts to show we can display the post date and suppose suppose we want to uh, delete some widget from here for example we want to delete this recent post widget so what we do is just click over here delete and this widget from will be deleted from the uh, widget so make sure you're making all the changes over here in the dashboard because this thing comes under dashboard so once you are done all the changes Let's have a look at the website for before refreshing. Uh, this is the 
uh, options we're getting and when we refresh the website the options will be changed feature image uh, featured member will be changed we don't see over here anything over here right now but we'll be seeing a featured group over here we'll see different polls because we have made all the changes over here so now let's refresh the page and see the changes okay guys so as i told you we can see the changes featured member is changed we are seeing a featured group the poll is changed we are getting the different poll members and we are not seeing the blocks uh, widget because we have deleted that widget so this is how you make changes over here now let's open any profile and see the sidebar because everything over here has different sidebar for example this is the profile sidebar featured member popular member and uh, again group so to make changes uh, over here in this widget what you do is in the bp sidebar body press sidebar we have to make changes over here as you can see at the top we have featured member here it is kiki as you can see kiki siler so instead of kiki we put dan okay because we have already created a username by dan okay after that we have popular members we can have this thing if we don't want this sidebar over here we can just delete this then we have featured group and there is no group name now let's again put in the name of the group we just created so we do it like this now we can also add some different uh, uh, widget over here we have tons of widgets uh, over here you can select anything from here we have members who's online so let's select this thing who's online and in this you have to select bp sidebar because we are adding this widget in the body press sidebar that is over here so click on add widget and maximum number to show is 15 click on save you can change the number obviously now click over here come back now come back to your website and before refreshing let's see how it looks featured member popular member and an error and after we'll refresh the website we'll see all the changes which we have made well guys so as you can see we are seeing all the changes which we have made featured member is changed we are getting a featured group and we are also getting who's online over here because we have added this widget over here okay fine so this is uh, the demo this is how you do all this thing now the last thing which is left is to change the logo as you can see here it is thrive logo the fav icon this is the fav icon over here you can see my cursor my cursor is pointing to the fav icon so we can change the fav icon the logo we can change this is also widget the recently active members members information this is also widget so what we do is let's change this widget now so again come back to the widgets and here when you see in the side nav sidebar side nav sidebar this is the widget for this one for example at the top we have recently active members so here also you'll see recently active members suppose you don't want this over here so what you do is just click on delete this thing will be deleted we have also a text uh, some dummy text so we also want to delete this text from here okay you can also add some different widget uh, to side nav sidebar also you can add different widget to dashboard to sidebar i'm just showing you how to create how to do all these things it's all up to you what options or what widgets you want where in the website okay so now let's refresh the, uh, this website and we must see the changes over here now let's refresh the site okay so as you can see now we are not getting the text option we are not getting the recent member option so this is how you do it oh okay, yes so now let's uh, change the footer widget as you can see this is all a widget a text widget recent active members who's online so again come back to the widgets and under footer as you can see there are three things about you can change your about text if you want or if you want you can delete this thing if you want to add some different for example categories polls recent comments pages in your footer over here you can add that thing uh, in um, uh, in the footer widget for example you want to add the groups so what you do is click on groups and instead of bp sidebar you select footer 
so select photo click on add widget okay click on save now that thing should be saved in your photo widget as you can see now you can see uh, the group in the footer now let's see the fav icon this is the fav icon if you see my cursor this is the fav icon let me show you how to change this fav icon and how to change all these options suppose you don't want to uh, these options uh, in the sidebar or if you want some different options then how you do this so let me show you that click on customize and the first option is site identity and site icon so select site icon you can upload any image or if you already have an image you can uh, upload that image from media library make sure the image you are uploading is a square image or almost a square image as you can see this is 512 by 512 this one so i am selecting this as a five icon click on select and as you can see at the top now you see this image in the five icon now suppose you want to change the general layout of this page you can also do that uh, this is the two column this is the first column this is the second column this is the default layout suppose you don't want this column as you can see over here you don't want this column you want only this thing so what you do select this full page layout and let's see the changes over here so as you can see guys now you don't see that sidebar and your website now looks totally different without that sidebar it's all up to you whether you want that or not but i like that thing so i am keeping it two columns because the user can also hide this thing so it's really good but it's all up to you you want full page you can select full page now we have site navigation you can enable or disable site navigation we obviously want to have this thing so we'll enable this now click on back we have branding and menu in branding when you click this is the logo over here now what we have to do is click on remove and we have to upload our own logo so click on select image and upload a file i have already created a logo for myself you'll see a link in the video description below that will teach you how to create a professional logo without using any softwares like photoshop or corel draw so make sure you watch that video so that you can create a good logo for yourself by now i have already created a logo for myself so i'm here selecting this logo and click on open my logo size is around 87 by 30 make sure the height is around 30 or 35 not more than that okay now choose image now let's see the changes over here so as you can see the logo has been changed now let's come back you can change the menu sub menu mobile menu it's all up to you sidebar option registry page okay footer so let's come back to the footer and change this thing as you can see it says your website name here so select copyright and instead of your website name put in your website's name obviously so let's put blog dude 2015 no it's 2016 and within few days it will be 2017 so let's put 2017 and come back then what is left what is left you can change the static page at present we have the dashboard this is the dashboard page as a static front page but if you want suppose you want to have the activity page as the front page static front page so when a user clicks on the home button or wants to come to your website direct website for example blogdo.com then what page you want to want them to have as the front page so we had the dashboard page you can select any page from here as your front page activity page members page i have selected the dashboard page it's all up to you what page you want to select as your front page what page you want to select as your post page okay guys so after you done that click on save and publish now let's see the website again okay guys so now only thing left to show you is how to change this suppose you don't like this thing you don't want this you don't want this welcome message uh, to be there on your website you don't want to show this users on the front page you want only this or you want to add some different thing over here so what you do how you change this so for that click over here edit with visual composer this is the visual composer front end editor 
suppose you want to change the text so what you do is click on this pencil which will edit the text box okay and you can change the text instead of welcome to thrive you can put uh, welcome to blog dude or whatever you want to put you can change this text also okay it's all up to you you can change this text also you can change or remove this uh, this is a members grid you can remove this thing if you don't want if you don't like this you can only have this or you can also add some different widgets for example we have this widgets over here you can all uh, add those widgets by clicking on this plus sign and you have so many options like facebook like twitter button icons or uh, many things pricing table so a uh, slider suppose you want to add some slider over there you can add a slider there are many things over here so you can add some different thing over here you can delete it or uh, suppose you want to delete everything then it's all up to you you can also delete this thing by clicking on this delete text button you can del delete this thing also okay so this is how you do that okay guys with this we complete this tutorial I have taught you everything how to do how to create a website a social networking website and I hope you guys like it because I have made uh, I have put a lot of efforts in making this kind of website in researching in researching the you know the design and then making it and if you guys like this it if this video has helped you guys then make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video also share this video with your friends and family that will really help me and if i have forgot something or if you want to know something else then make sure you leave a comment in uh, below so that i can help you out because it is possible because i'm also a human being i might have forgotten something i might have forgotten to add something so it's 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 possible i don't neglect that so if that thing has happened make sure you put a comment in the comment below uh, so that i can come to know what has ha gone wrong but for now i have created this theme uh, this website and it is complete you can also watch my other web, uh, other themes or other videos for example how to create an e-commerce website how to create a professional business website uh, i have put in many videos on my youtube channel you can go ahead and watch all those things and for now thank you for watching this video take care